Y'all, I just, I, I don't get it. Not too long ago, I look on social media, I look on YouTube, and I see people just tearing a hole into Activision because of MW3, right? But now, it seems like everything is okay. Well, we'll see about that. And if you want to see more COD content or more content from me in general, be sure to sub to the channel as we are so close to 1k subs. Okay, let's continue. As many of you know, MW3 leaked not too long ago, and with that, we basically saw how they were going to shill their planned year 2 DLC for MW22 and repackage it as MW23. Well, the official reveal for MW3 just came out not too long ago, and now... Everyone has sort of forgiven Activision for whatever reason. Without wasting any more time, I'm just gonna dive into it. And I give you my word, I will be as unbiased as possible. Starting under the topic, the war has changed. They basically say that this is going to be a direct sequel to their incredible blockbuster, Modern Warfare 2. <coughs> is that what that was? Sorry, sorry. Let's continue. It goes on to say that the story continues immediately following the events of MW22, but this one is planning on taking a freeform experience resulting in more player choice than ever before. These are going to be called OCMs, or Open Combat Missions. As described in the article, they're an exciting innovation to the COD campaign that provide you numerous additional choices and methods of completing a mission. So, basically what we were able to do in Black Ops Cold War. I don't know why but I just get the overall feel that this is gonna read more like a Madden article than anything. And what I mean by that is that they're gonna take a whole bunch of features that were added in other Call of Duty games, older Call of Duty games, I should say, and they're gonna just basically put them in now and say that they're brand new. I just, I got a feeling. Also, the way that they're doing the campaign, I'm pretty sure it was mentioned in the rumor that the campaign was gonna be done in a raid mission format style, and if that is the case, we're one for one right now. Now, moving on to the multiplayer, and believe me when I say, <laughs> y'all better get comfortable because I'm about to bust my lungs out my chest with this one. Why? Because this, this one section is the reason why Activision went from having a 5 star wanted level to being let go according to the masses. Under the Legendary Core Maps Modern Gameplay title, it lists off a bunch of classic MW2 maps such as Afghan, Pavela, Rust, Terminal, Quarry, etc. It then goes on to say that all 16 launch maps for MW2 have been basically remastered and are now being put right into Modern Warfare 3. Now, if this is enough to make you give your pants a zebra print under a blacklight, awesome. But you want to know why this more or less upsets me? Two things. One, this was something I heard about happening with the year 2 DLC for MW22. And two, <clears throat> this should have already been in the goddamn game. Am I glad they're getting around to it now? I, I guess. I mean, better late than never, as they say, but there's no reason why this couldn't have come out one year earlier. We then see the mention of a brand new game mode that I don't think COD has ever done before called Cutthroat, which reminds me a lot of multi-team from Halo for some reason, as it's listed as a 3v3v3 competitive experience. Hey, at least they're adding something new. I mean, I'm interested to see how it's going to work out, but <laughs> it's new. Moving on down the list, they confirm the return of War Mode from World War II, as well as new robust systems. The first example they provide is a middle ground between hip firing and aiming down sights. Now, as much as I sort of like the idea of this happening, I'm wondering how it's going to work out the way Activision wants it to. From what I'm seeing, it's going to be called the Tax Stance, and it's just switching from your main sight to a canted sight. Definitely an interesting idea for sure. The next example is evolving loadouts, in which we go two for two on the leaks. As the article says, get ready to build your loadout based on cutting edge military equipment, such as gloves, tactical vest, boots, and more, allowing you to fine tune more aspects of gameplay. My guy, you're just bringing back the perk system. You didn't need to PR speak me to death just to let me know that you guys are bringing back the perk system. It's just, you didn't need to. Then we move into the aftermarket parts innovation, which is probably one of the most fascinating parts of the game if I do say so myself. The article says, and I quote, aftermarket parts enable you to construct unique weapon configurations or types, such as customizing a machine gun into a bullpup configuration. Oh, God damn it. This is basically just the gunsmith thing from Modern Warfare 2. Like, I don't know if you have to complete certain challenges with other weapons or just certain challenges in general to unlock certain parts for weapons, 
but this is sounding a lot like Gunsmith 2.0. Let's move on to the return of classic gameplay because in a weird sort of way, I hope they go back to that classic MW2 or MW3 style movement. I'll take that movement over what we've had in the past five or six years to be fair. I mean, I, I have not enjoyed it whatsoever. Under the category, and get ready because this is quite a bit, we see that map voting returns, they're bringing back the classic mini map, they're making all chosen perks available at the start of the match, they essentially confirmed the ninja perk coming back, but labeled it as the covert sneakers perk. And they adjusted the health to 150 to lengthen the TTK or the time to kill. You know, aside from the perk trying to sound like it's being politically correct, I actually kind of enjoy what this is sounding like. It reminds me so much of the classic COD games where it felt like you had to actually have some form of skill to even compete. And again, if it's like Modern Warfare 19 movement they're referring to, forget what I said. There's not much else to talk about other than the fact that they confirmed the return of reload canceling, the return of slide canceling, and then basically saying that everything from MW2 will basically carry over. And that's really about it. Now, let's talk about zombies, shall we? The first half of the article says this, and I quote, For the first time, team up with other squads to survive and fight massive hordes of the undead in the largest Call of Duty Zombies map ever. Modern Warfare Zombies, MWZ, tells an involved and unearthly dark ether zombie story set in the Modern Warfare universe. This doesn't really tell us much other than this is basically just going to be Outbreak 2.0. So we're like 3 for 3, or 4 for 4. I, I stopped tracking at this point, honestly. If you want to read the rest of the article, including the pre-order stuff, I'll leave it down below. So there you go. Be happy. For my final thoughts, I just don't understand what changed. Literally not even two weeks ago, we were building the crucifixes that we were going to use to pin Activision 2 for their sins. But after releasing this article and everything else they plan on doing, a lot of people are taking back what they've said. And I'm not one of those people that think that once you have an opinion, you're not allowed to change it no matter what, okay? Changing your opinion is what makes you a normal human being and I can understand that. What I don't understand is that Activision, in my opinion, has blatantly shown us that they're more than willing and more than capable of implementing old features and mechanics we've wanted for a long time. And now that they've done it, we're celebrating them for that? That's legit like celebrating YouTube for bringing back the dislike button after they received major heat for taking it away in the first place. Like, I would be glad if they brought it back, right? But is it worth us throwing a goddamn parade over it? That's where I feel like I'm at with this whole thing, right? They should have had these classic maps in COD before, and I'm not talking about Shipment, Kill House, or fucking Nuketown, I'm tired of seeing those maps. They should have brought back the classic gameplay when we asked for it. They should have done a lot of things years ago, and it took the community to roast the ever-loving hell out of them, and being constantly told no one's gonna support them before they finally did it. If there's anything I'm excited for, right, it's these two things. One, how the classic gameplay will feel and look. Two, what the reviews are going to be once the game drops. Side note, speaking about reviews, there's this counter argument that some people try to make saying that COD's been one of the highest grossing franchises of all time and because of that, you can't call it shit or you can't criticize it. If that's the case, we can't criticize Halo, SOCOM, Madden, FIFA, Battlefield, Grand Theft Auto, the Tom Clancy franchise. Do I need to continue? And like I've said time and time again, right? I don't care if the studio is AAA, in the double A, I could care less. If you can deliver a good product, I'm gonna recognize it. If you deliver me shit, I'm gonna call you out on it and I'm gonna let you realize that you've delivered a shit. Now I turn the mic to you. Let me know down below what you think about the MW3 reveal so far. Do you think that this game is gonna be better than expected? Do you think it's gonna be a complete flop? Let me know. And while you're down there, go ahead and smash that like button and recycle that sub button at all so YouTube can show you my content free of charge. There's a Sir Blackout signing off to go play the Black Ops campaign or something. I, I just, I don't know anymore, honestly. Uh, later.